6 o'clock, a hidden figure in our country's space history that you may not know about. Sharon McDougall, a suit tech, helped make sure our astronauts were suited up safely for space exploration. One astronaut she worked with was Mae Jemison, the first black woman in space. Our Sea on Roads has the inspiring story of McDougal's own history making career as KPRC2 continues to honor Black History Month. I was hidden in plain sight. It's like they look at the picture and I was invisible. So nobody ever asked who is that girl <laughs> suiting up Dr. May. <laughs> And lift off, lift off. In 1992, when Dr. Mae Jemison prepared to make history as the first black woman to travel into space, another black woman was thrilled when I found out a black woman was going to. Sharon McDougall was Jemison's suit technician for the historic mission, a job McDougall says she claimed for herself right away as the only black tech in the department. I'm suiting her up, y'all already know. Don't play. McDougal remembers the weight of the job, making sure the orange escape suits all astronauts wear for launch and landing in case of emergency were in perfect condition. When I train people, I tell them, treat it like your child is going to be wearing that suit and that equipment. And you know, then you would definitely make sure every screw is tight and every seal is lubed, everything's put together right. You hope they never have to use it, of course. As black women, McDougal said she shared a familiarity with Jimison, even though they hadn't known each other long. See, and I would be sitting there talking like two girlfriends. Even helping her with hairstyling before a pre-launch photo shoot. So I got the curl down and I bumped the little piece. A special attention to detail that was noticed by Jemison. To Sharon, it's always wonderful to know that this, there's a person who has your best interests at heart. My sincerest thanks for keeping me safe. Definitely the best I could ask for, Macy Jemison. Besides, we have too much fun together. Do it, girl. McDougal got her start in aerospace when she joined the Air Force after high school. A little black girl from Mississippi. <laughs> didn't know, didn't even know what she was going to do. Like I say, my career tells me. After eight years of suiting up fighter pilot crews, she got a call about a similar job with Boeing Aerospace that led her to NASA. Well, this is my very first mission. She worked her way up from crew tech to become the first female and first African-American crew chief, working with the astronauts during training and traveling with them for launches in Florida, eventually becoming a manager. Hard work and perseverance. Suiting up other history-making astronauts. Dr. Bernard Harris, the first black man to do a spacewalk. Uh, Colonel Frederick Gregory was the first black shuttle commander. Mr. Charlie Bolden, former NASA administrator, and he's the first black space shuttle pilot. John Glenn, that was, that was just precious. And meeting celebrities along the way. I loved it. I still go by every now and then to try to swipe my badge to get in. <laughs> A career she never expected that she hopes will inspire others. Like I said, gotta see it to be it. In LaPorte. Hit no more. Yes, ma'am. No more. Sion Rhodes, KPRC 2 News. Hit no more is right. What a great story.